Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create your very own cutscenes for your game. Any kind of game, uh, story game, piggy game, mini games, games, any game that uses a cutscene. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. But first, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and let's get right into it. So we're gonna go to replicated storage, we're gonna insert object, and we're gonna create a folder. We're gonna rename this folder to remotes. There we go. So we're gonna insert an object again and this time it's gonna be a remote event. So this remote event we're gonna rename it to camera interpolate event. So this is gonna be our first event. Then we're gonna create another one. We're gonna insert object remote event. And this one we're gonna call it camera to player event so yeah this will be our two remotes and then we're gonna go ahead and go okay so first I want you guys to go ahead and go to the description of the video we're gonna be using two scripts for this tutorial which I'm gonna leave in the description and those are gonna be the cutscene script which is gonna be our main server script this one we're gonna place it inside the server script service right here and then we have the camera interpolate script which is a local script and this one we're gonna drag it and place it inside our starter character scripts right there okay so if we go inside the camera interpolate script we can see we have our events right here make sure it's named exactly the same as this one's right here this one the camera interpolate event takes care of moving the camera around depending of what parameters we give it and then we have the camera to player event which basically when we finish using the cutscene camera it's gonna send the camera back to the player so that's basically what these two on client events do and then we can go to our cutscene script. This is gonna be our main script. This is where we're gonna be doing everything to make the cutscene work. You guys can see we have a couple things here. First, we have remote events right here again. We have two animations we're gonna be using. You guys can use your own if you want to, but we're gonna be using the cheer animation and a disagree animation for the tutorial. And then we have the play NPC animation. This is how we play these animations inside our NPC. We're gonna be creating an NPC in a minute. And then we have the move NPC function right here, which makes the NPC work. So we see a lot about the NPC, but we don't even have an NPC yet. So let's go ahead and create it. If you guys don't have this plugin, um, is the already Sprost plugin. I will leave the link in the description and it basically lets you load any kind of character, like any character from a real player to your Roblox base plate. So I'm gonna be loading myself if you guys put your username here. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna spawn an R15 right here. You guys can see um, I have my character right here. We're gonna close this and we're gonna place it right here there we go okay so you can edit it as much as you want to I'm gonna leave it like that for now I'm just gonna remove the name tag because I don't like it so if you want to do that you can go to the player to the character humanoid and you can change the display distance type to none there we go there we go I feel that's better so another thing we have to do before we start um, modifying our NPC is that we have to make sure that all the parts are anchored equal false so make sure that uh, this anchored box is not checked in all the parts of the player make sure it's all um, it's all not checked so you are able to move your character this is very important for the character to move okay so now that we have our character we gotta create the cameras so I want you guys to go ahead and create a part a new part right here you go to home you go to insert part and you're gonna see a great part pop up so this is gonna be our camera but we're gonna need two cameras one is gonna be the target and another one is gonna be the camera's position. So for the sake of this example, we're gonna be changing the colors of the blocks. The green one is gonna be the camera's position and the red one is gonna be the target's position. There we go. 
Okay, so we're gonna rename this to target, target part, and we're gonna rename the other one to camera part. There we go. So we're gonna group this, and we're gonna rename it to cameras parts, or just cameras. Yes, I think we can just name it cameras. I think that's okay. So basically what our script is gonna do is that it's gonna detect the camera and it's gonna point towards the target. So if we have our camera right here, it's gonna point directly to the red square. So it's gonna be something like this, as you can see. Okay, so make sure these two parts are anchored so they don't fall off from the from where we want them to be there we go so it's anchor equal true and also make sure can collide is equal to false okay we have our first camera group okay actually let's rename this to camera group i think that's better so camera group we have our camera part and our target part that's perfect okay so that's good we're also gonna be creating the checkpoints which is where the player is gonna be walking to so i want my player to be standing there walk like to the back and then i want it to like turn and go this way and then i'm gonna put another camera this way you you guys are gonna see what i mean in a minute so yeah let's go ahead and create the walk checkpoint right now this one we're gonna name it um walk checkpoint one we're gonna change the color make sure it's anchored and not can collide and then we're gonna make another one so the player walks this way and then this way so yeah let's put it right here and rename this second one to walk checkpoint number two there we go okay so obviously when we have our camera facing this way the camera is not gonna be able to to see the player when it turns around the corner of this um, stone wall so we're gonna have to change the camera look so we're gonna create another one of these we're gonna copy and paste so we have another one and then we're gonna place it right here so it basically works the same way guys so this is gonna be the position and this is gonna be the target so it's gonna be looking something like this and there we go so we're gonna rename this camera group to camera group number two and actually let's rename the first one to camera group number one there we go so we have camera group one camera group two we have the walk checkpoint one and we have the walk checkpoint two okay so if you don't understand what's happening right now you will understand in a minute so we now that we have our positions for everything we can go ahead and go to our cutscene script and we can start scripting okay so the first thing we want to do is that we want to wait um, five seconds for the player to load because if not, the cutscene will start too quickly and maybe maybe there will be a problem with the player camera. So we want to give it a little bit of time to, for it to load correctly. So the first thing is we're going to do is create a camera interpolate event. And we're going we're gonna to fire it to all the clients. So basically what this camera interpolate event checks is that it checks the position of the camera, it checks the focus and it changes the duration of the camera transition from one point to another. So first we gotta send the camera interpolate event the position so we're gonna do game workspace we're gonna do camera group number one and we're gonna do position was it what was the name um it was camera part camera part and we're gonna do c frame so c frame is uh is basically the position in the world of the part so that's what we're gonna send to the event and then we're gonna do comma and we're gonna insert the target now so workspace camera group one uh we're gonna do target part and we're gonna do c frame again and we want it to take one second to do the transition so if you want the transition of the camera to be slower you can make this two seconds three seconds as much as you want 
if you want it to be faster you can do uh, 0.5 seconds but we are gonna be doing one second for now so yeah we have our camera interpolate event uh, working now so let's go ahead and test it I'm gonna play it so it should wait five seconds and then it should perfectly as you guys can see we did a one second transition to the position of the camera and it's now looking to the red square which is the target so yes everything is working correctly um so now what we want to do is wait another maybe three seconds i think three seconds is okay and we're gonna play an animation in the character so we want to play an animation in the character to make it like cheer that's why we have our cheer animation right here so we're gonna do uh, play NPC animation. We're gonna give it the model, which is game workspace. Actually, let's rename the character because right now it has my username, and we don't want to confuse uh, the script if there is two Poncho Kings. Like if there is an NPC Poncho Kings and then there is like a real one, which is me, my character. So let's go ahead and rename it to NPC. Let's go ahead and rename it to NPC for now. And then now we're gonna do game workspace and we're gonna look for the NPC right there. So that's good. Then we're gonna do comma and we're gonna be using our cheer animation. So we're gonna do cheer animation. And yes, now it should move the camera. Then it should wait three seconds and then play the cheer animation. Let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so it's moving and yes it's doing the cheer animation perfect perfect okay so we're gonna stop the testing and we're gonna go to our next step so now we have to maybe wait two seconds for the animation to finish and then we're gonna move the NPC to the to our checkpoint so we're gonna be doing move NPC we're gonna do game workspace NPC and then we're gonna search for the checkpoint. We're gonna do comma um, game workspace walk checkpoint number one. Okay, so this is gonna move the uh, NPC to the checkpoint number one, which is this one right here. And then we want it to move to the second checkpoint, which is this one. So we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this, we're gonna paste it right here. And we're just gonna change the number of the checkpoint. So it's gonna walk this way first and then it's gonna walk to the other one. You don't have to worry about adding a weight because, because the function will take care of that. Uh, as you can see right here, it waits for the player to get to, get to the position before advancing to the next um, part of the script. So you don't have to worry about weights here. So after that, when the player gets to the last checkpoint, which is this one, we want to change the camera to this one right here. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna be waiting two seconds. Then we're gonna copy the this camera interpolate event and we're gonna paste it right here. But this time we're gonna change the camera group to the camera group number two and we're gonna do the same for this one right here. So that's perfect. We're gonna be waiting two seconds and then we're gonna play another animation. So we're gonna copy and paste this again. We're gonna be using the disagree animation. There we go. Like I said, you can use any animation you want. I'm using these ones just for the tutorial. So, so yeah, you can pretty much use anything you want. So after it plays the animation, we're gonna wait maybe um, three seconds. At this point, the cutscene is basically finished. So we're gonna send the camera back to the player. Camera to player event, there we go. And we're gonna fire to all clients. So yes, this is basically all we have to do. We have everything set up, so let's go ahead and test it. So we're gonna go to play. And there we go. Okay, so camera works. Then the cheer animation. 
The player moves perfectly, so then we change the camera. The player does another animation. And we have our camera back. Okay, so it works perfectly. But now what we wanna do is that we don't want the players to see these um, ugly squares like all around the map. So we're gonna go ahead and make them all transparent. So we're gonna stop this and we're gonna go to our camera groups. We're gonna select um, the two parts and we're gonna make the transparency equal to one, which means completely transparent. So we're gonna do the same with the walk checkpoints and we're gonna do the same with the camera group number two. There we go, perfect. Let's go ahead and test it again. And let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks way better now that there is now stuff around the map. So we have the cheer animation. It walks around. The camera changes again. It has another animation. And there we go. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so we did it perfectly. It works perfectly. We we basically um, learned how to manage the cameras. We learned how to move the NPC around. We learned how to play animations. We learned a lot of stuff today. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me today, guys. I hope this tutorial really helped you. Make sure to leave in the comments what other tutorial you would like me to make. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.